everybody else gets to go, but I gotta wait. We just dropped our trailer at that same customer again uh, this morning. We went there last night, remember, it was a little confusing, didn't work out, the load wasn't ready. So I came there today and I dropped the trailer there. They said it'll take about five hours to load. That's common in the trucking industry, so uh, it's nothing to complain about. So I'm going to the nearest truck stop, which is the Pilot. Same one I went to last night and couldn't find parking. There should be parking now. Since I'm just bobtailing without a trailer, uh, I should be able to park almost anywhere. As soon as I get this light green, come on light. Hey, see, you just gotta ask nice. Then again, I didn't ask very nice, did I? Maybe you just have to demand. That's how you get things in life, just demand it. What do you see over there, man? Diesel, what do you see over there? There's a dog, man. There's a dog, those people over there. Dog, dog. You should not do that. You should not be jumping on my windows. You guys can go outside as soon as they put their dogs away, okay? Yeah, good boys. <laughs> oh, I want to go play with them. Diesel, you would destroy them. I didn't want to point the camera at them. They're like right here in front of my truck. They got these tiny little chihuahua, like miniature something or other, like little rats. I think they're dogs. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> Diesel wanted to go play with them. You guys would destroy them. So we came to the pilot uh, close to Joliet, Illinois, and we gotta wait here about five hours while they load the trailer, like I was telling you, which isn't too bad, whatever. I think I'm gonna have a bit of a nap, because when uh, I do go to pick up the trailer, I wanna be able to get a full day out of it, right? Maybe by the time I get loaded and whatnot, it might take a couple of hours, and then it's just another couple of hour wait, and I got my 10 hours, and I can start a brand new day, right? So I'd rather get my rest now while I can, so just in case if I can start driving and later, I'm, I'm ready to go for a full day, right? You know what I mean? What do you think of that plan, man? I think it's a very good one. I think it's a good one. And you don't like a nap too, actually. If you, if, you, if you have one, I just might have one too. Don't you want to go outside first, though? Did I say the magic word? Do you need to go outside? You do, don't you? No? You want to stay inside? Okay. Didn't think you wanted to go inside anyway. Or you want to stay inside? Or do you want to go outside? You? You? You guys all want to stay inside? Yeah, let's stay inside. Yeah, let's stay inside. How about that? That's the wrong one, man. I want to go outside. Outside, man. Outside. I guess we could go for a walk before our nap. Tire ourselves out, eh? Might be a good idea. I agree. So have you guys been enjoying those collages of pictures or whatever I have at the end of my vlogs lately? Uh, I love using this camera and I like, it, it, it just makes anything look amazing, I think, in my opinion. So I've been taking pictures of different points throughout my day, little highlights and whatnot. And after you're done watching the vlog, it's sort of almost like a review, right, of what happened in the vlog. Sort of what I'm, I've been thinking. So at the end of the vlog, I'll post all the pictures that I took throughout the day as a little slideshow for you guys, as a little treat. So don't forget to stick around to the end of the vlog. Don't miss that slideshow. What do you guys think? I decorated my room. That was the flag that one of you sent me in the mail a little while ago and I've always wanted to display it in here. I just hadn't figured out how yet, but today I figured out, hey, I could just clip it to the top like that. We'll see how that works. I got a massive ginormous Canada flag up there now. So now it's more balanced out because I have like one, two, three US flags and only one Canada flag and then my Manitoba flag for the province that I live in in Canada. Now we got the Canada flag, hoorah! Yeah, Canada flag. Now I need to put a big one down there yet. I'll probably put a big American one down there yet once I trust Sergeant not to tear it to pieces. Don't give me that guilty look, you know you'd do it. You know you'd tear it right up. That's very rude to tear up a flag like that, man. It's illegal in some parts, actually. Shouldn't be doing that. So anyways, yeah, so we got the flag up there. I sleep beside it every day. And eventually, once I get one, I need to get a flag that's the exact same size as that. I don't know what size that is. Six feet? Six feet long? 
Anyways, it fits up there just perfect. And I want exactly the same size American flag to have in the bottom there yet. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do that with the cage there. I'll have to put it, hang it in front of the cage, I guess. But again, I have to wait until this guy uh, grows up a little more, right? You like to itch those teeth, even though you got all your big teeth already. Good boy. Yeah, oh, you don't like to show your teeth. I know, I know. Show me your teeth. Show me your teeth. Diesel likes to, look, Diesel likes to show me his teeth. Diesel, show me your teeth. Show me, there they are, man. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Good boy, you've been working on those. Good. Sergeant, why don't you like showing me your teeth? I want to see your teeth. I don't want to show you my teeth, man. Apparently they're reserved just for bad guys. They get to see his teeth. They get to feel his teeth. <laughs> right, Sarge? Yeah. So yeah, let me know what you think. I like it. Pretty soon it'll be Canada, America. Down there. Yeah, I know, I was gonna have a nap. I got distracted. Oh, well, off to work I go. We gotta go get our trailer. It's ready. I don't know where it goes. This road apparently takes us to the I-55. Easy. Some of these railway tracks are kind of bumpy. Maybe not. Maybe that's just in Canada. <laughs> you ever notice how railway crossings in Canada, they can just never get it right? They redo it and it's smooth for like two weeks and then you gotta slow down to 60 just so you don't like lose an axle. I'm exaggerating a little bit, but... Has anyone else noticed that? Railway crossings, we just can't get it right. That's why I say we should just build an overpass. Mind blown. Hey, someone lost a pallet, hey. And we are loaded, ready to go. We have our load. We still don't know if we're going to the yard or straight to the customer. We're gonna have to find that out tomorrow. But in the meantime, that doesn't matter today because I can't get to either today. I can't get to the fork in the road today, right? So I'll drive as far as I, as I can today. And then tomorrow is where I meet the fork. If we go straight there, we go this way. If we go to the yard, we go this way. So we don't gotta worry about it till tomorrow anyways. We'll worry about it then. I'll go send them in my paperwork. I gotta send them in my POD from the last at the same time. If that doesn't make any sense to you, just right over your head. Don't worry about it. <laughs> a POD is proof of delivery. I have to show them that I delivered the freight, right? I have to send them in the, the signature of the bill of lading so that they know that I didn't just put the freight in my garage. Because some of the freight I haul, I wouldn't mind taking it home myself, but that's why you gotta get the customer to sign and you gotta send it in before you get paid so that they know that you brought it there and didn't just leave it wherever you are or leave it in your yard. <laughs> Mandy here is convinced that I'm lost. I'm not lost. I know exactly where I'm going. That way. Point your nose north and you'll hit Canada eventually. I missed my turn. I had to miss my turn because traffic wouldn't let me over. Let's be correct about this. Make a U-turn. No. I went and looked it up and I found that this truck route goes straight through to where I need to be on the uh, Interstate 88. So I'm just gonna just go up this way. Manny just hasn't figured out my genius yet. She still wants me to do a U-turn and go back. No, never look back. Can't change the past. Make a U-turn. No, still trying to get out of this mess that is Chicago. It's a great city, don't get me wrong. A lot of people, a lot of people. And there's a small percentage of them that are a little scary behind the wheel, but that that's anywhere. That's anywhere. So apparently Mandy says we're turning onto Highway 59 now. She knows where we're going now. She's got it right finally. She's realized the genius that is my brain. See, sometimes 
the GPS isn't right. Sometimes your brain is just better. You know the old fashioned way, the brain, using your brain. Oh, come on, you little weird cube vehicle. These vehicles are weird. Look at this thing. Look cute. Nissan cube. Oh, and they're perfectly spaced, so I can't get in there. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey. Anyone? Yeah, they got a red light. <laughs> I gotta go. All right. Got her in that car now. What? Continue 8.2 kilometers on Highway 59. Then I gotta turn left onto Butterfield Road. Really, Butterfield Road. The field of butter. So we're here at the Dick old something Oasis on Interstate 88, just before the I-39. Look, we made a stop for the boys. You guys feeling good? Feeling good? So they're all tuckered out. We just got all their energy burnt, and now we are headed that way. That way. Into the sunset. Until we hit Interstate 39, then we'll be headed north again towards the land of Canada. Let's get back on the road. We still got a long day ahead of us. Those would be the perfect camper. Look, it's got a little pop-out and everything on there. Oh, and it's got a cab over. That's the Freightliner Argosy. See, I want a cab over like that, except uh, with the higher roof. And I want campers like that. I wonder if that, guy, if that back thing's supposed to be open there like that. That would be perfect, man. I gotta get one of those. One day. One day, but in the meantime, we're gonna get some juice. So we're at the pumps. We're here in South Beloy. Getting juiced. South Beloy, man. Got loaded in Chicago. Now we came to South Beloy. We get totally juiced here. I'm trying to put my shoes on at the same time as I'm trying to be funny. It's not working. Who's there, Diesel? I don't know his name. I can't sniff his butt from here, man. I don't know his name. Sarge? You have a good day? You have a good day? Thanks for joining us today, guys. It was a fun day, like usual. We went from there to here, and tomorrow we will go from here to there. The story of my life. So don't forget to go down below to the description. Make sure you are following me on my new Facebook. There is a page where you go called facebook.com slash official trucker josh you can go there hit the like button we also have a new email for the channel if you want to get a hold of us through email send in your logo submissions and whatnot that's tjv trucker josh vlogs just the letters tjv at email.com easy as that tjv at email.com you can find all of my contact information on my website www.truckerjosh.com pretty simple and easy to remember I need to get these boys outside because they're getting pretty impatient here. I'm going to go run around for a good 15-20 minutes or so. Get the energy out. 
and we'll continue down the road tomorrow. I hope you join us. I'll see you then.